What is good guys, Dan the Pokemon back here with more of our Youngster Joey challenge. Uh, I trained up Rattatat, Rattatat, Tat, Rattatat, Rattatat, hey, up to um, 26. Like I said, I actually used the last two rare candies I had when he was at 24 uh, just to like level him up. So he's looking pretty decent stat wise. Uh, we have to redeem ourselves with Misty, so we're going to see if we can actually be her. Level 26 Rattata is nothing to laugh at. Her bathing suit is something to laugh at, though. That is so out of style. That's like two seasons ago. Alright, let's go. Leader Misty. Alright, it's really late at night when I'm recording this, so I'm trying not to be too loud. Oh, I missed the first attack. And he uses the Harden. Alright, uh, Hyper Fang, go! There we go, I actually hit it. Let's see if we can get some hacks. Oh wow, that did lots of damage. Um, I would have been able to one hit Kale if my first Hyper Fang would have hit. And of course, she has the Super Potion. I swear, this gym, man. These gym leaders. Alright, so we got rid of her Star U. I uh, got some decent amount of EXP, and now we're going to see if we can redeem ourselves with that star meat. So we're going to go straight for the hyper thing. Let's see if we can kill it. Ooh, two hit KO. Don't. And I get the confusion hacks. Alright, hyper thing, let's do it. All in, no fear. Who cares? <gasps> One HP. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes! 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 Oh, baby! The hacks is on our sides. We live. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe that we live with one HP. We broke through the per, uh, the confused hacks and used the hyper thing and attack. We actually got it. We didn't miss it at all. Oh my goodness! That is amazing. Oh my goodness! I am so happy right now. Alright, so after you beat Misty, she gives you Water Pulse, which is a move I want to teach Rattata if he can learn it. I, I think he can learn it. I know he has poor special attack, but hey, in this game, you know, there's... <laughs> you, you have to use more moves. Oh, I can't even learn it? Oh, that's stupid. That's bogus. I gotta teach Rattata some good moves, though, because um, there are just so many Pokemon out there that are just too hard to beat. Alright, so we won our gym badge. Uh, definitely earned that one. That was hilarious. That made me so happy. Okay, now we gotta go beat Dan and his freaking Pokemon. Uh, let's see if we can get as much hacks as we did with Misty. Hopefully we don't lose the first turn. I'm sorry, the first time. I'm, just, I'm so like into Yu-Gi-Oh! Lango right now. Alright, so we're gonna buy some super potions just because, you know, we're here. Oh, I can only buy 10, that's stupid. Um, I'll buy 6. And that should be good. I'm gonna run down over here and uh, go find Dan. Hey, yo, Ma! There he is. Look at that sexy mofo. Because it's me, guys. I'm Dan, and then Joey. Pidgeotto, level 17, is no match for my rat attack. Your quick attack did nothing. And that was stab, too. Stab, quick attack from level 17 Pidgeotto. He brings out his own rat attack, which we're going to kill with a quick attack. Come on. With a crit. Respect. Respect me. And my top percentage rat attack right here, boys. Yeah. And girls, if you're out there listening. I don't know too many girls that watch Let's Plays, so... <laughs> Ooh, awesome pursuit. Uh, we can actually get a good move now. Uh, we're gonna get rid of focus energy, definitely. I only put it there because I was like in the middle of telling a story and I was like, oh, uh, focus energy. Instead of it, instead of me focusing on trying to cancel out of it, I was like, you know what, just give it a new move. 
Papa Fang, come on, let's kill that Bulbasaur. Get redemption. Redemption. That's for Squirtle. That was for Squirtle. The second time. Hey, take it easy, you won already. That's right, I won! Let me give you 288 bucks. Okay, joint. Don't evolve at all. You're not allowed to. Hopefully I can get an Everstone quick. <laughs> I'm tired of doing that every single episode. I might actually, because this is a Game Boy Advance game, uh, not an emulator, so I could actually just trade on um, an Everstone to this Leaf Green version. Fame checker. Yeah, that's right. My Rattata is famous. It's in the top percentage of all Rattata. I would love to do um, a Dan Daily Vlog. I'm sorry, a Dan Daily Vlog. I just could not spit that out. About me uh, calling random people on my contact list about telling them about my top percentage Rattata and see what they say. Alright, now we're gonna do Nugget Bridge. And then we have to go help Bill. So, I feel like I haven't been explaining what we're doing in this entire walkthrough. So, for the people who are here for a Leap Green walkthrough, sorry I have to wait for like six or seven episodes just to get like a detailed explanation. So, after we beat Misty, we have to go see Bill. And what Bill will do is he will give us an SS ticket. And after we see Bill, we're going to get access to a little home where we can go in there and not only get the TM for Dig, but face a rocket grunt. And then we'll also be able to go to, um, shoot, what, Vermilion City? Where not only will we be able to save the SS and, but we'll also be able to get our third badge. So right now we're just trying to save, um, save the people on SS and. But first, we gotta get that ticket, though, man. We can't get admission until we get that ticket. So we're gonna hyper fang this Kakuna na na, Kakuna Matata. All right, so we're gonna easily win that. We're gonna win against Kale. GG Kale. I'm second now. It's serious. And who are we facing? Let me. Oh, another. Look at that last, guys. Look at that last. Last alley. Alright, we're gonna kill the crap out of that Pidgey. Okay, first time ever using Pursuit, and it only does um, about what? Mm, what do you call that? Three fours? It's okay. It's a special move because in this generation, uh, Dark is special. Alright, we're gonna quick attack this uh, Oddish. Oh, I missed? What the frick? How did I miss? Did it sand attack me? Oh, yeah, that's right, it sand attacked me. See, I don't even know what's going on. All I know is that I'm beating people up with my rat attack. See, my rat attack is in such the top percentage that all I need to do is button match and it knows what to do. And I miss again. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. See, this is the bad part about doing a Youngster Joe Challenge, because if you get any status ailments, you're stuck with them, and you can't really do anything. Alright, next person. Here's number three. I won't be easy. Uh, easy. He's not Izzy. Wait, watch his name be Izzy. Oh, it's Timmy. Rhymes with Izzy. Izzy Timmy. I guess, kind of. Timothy, come on. Type of thing's gonna definitely kill that Sandshrew, which makes me really happy. Good job, Joint. You are so good. And I get intimidated. See, this is where it gets bad. See, now I got that status ailment. But it's okay, I'm gonna go for Pursuit. And I'm gonna do about one third. Oh, I called it too, wow. Come on, switch into your non existent third Pokemon. And this last pursuit's definitely gonna take him out. Oh! So I believe all we're gonna do for this episode is uh, finish Nugget Bridge. That should be good. I feel like that's good because we got three important battles, and we're gonna get um, our rival battle, our uh, gym leader win, and then we're gonna get this Nugget Bridge Team Rocket Man at the end.
Oh man, I'm tired. Almost. I'm trying not to yawn on on a uh, video recording, but hey, man, you know what happens. I should be getting a new mic soon, hopefully. Um, I actually just bought some new amiibos. I um, what I've been doing is I've been fixing the Raider costume, which is the mascot costume. Uh, you can sure you guys will see the vlog of that if you watch the vlogs. You know, I don't. Know. I've been trying to fix that thing all day. I finally fixed the helmet, which uh, makes me really happy. There's a fan in there, so that's how he's going to breathe. <laughs> and then I have to buy some new felt, which I don't think I should have to spend my own dime just to fix this costume, but, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's my responsibility, but to be honest with you, the school owns it, and I've been asking them to take care of it for the longest time, so I had to take the initiative on myself. But I will get it done. I, um, I already know how to sew. Woohoo, I know how to sew. I remember the only reason why I know how we sew is because my Poliwhirl uh, plush doll lost an arm and I didn't want to throw it out because my mom says, oh, throw it out. All the uh, cotton's going to come out. I go, you know what? Give me a sewing needle and some thread and I sewed it, uh, sewed it shut just so I can keep it. And I still have it too. I think it's in my plush box. I have two giant plush boxes of Pokemon. I love Pokemon plush. Um... If, if uh, when I get back in my job, I'm gonna buy a Mega Skeptile job. Uh, job. I'm gonna get a, <laughs> I'm gonna get a Mega Skeptile plush. There we go. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on. The fatigue is hitting me, guys. I'm so turned. I'm so turned on that chocolate note. <laughs> chocolate note. Chocolate. Oh my goodness. See, this is this is me. This is me, guys. Ah oh, man, I, I enjoy this. Alright, so we're gonna take out his Ekans, and now we're just gonna go Hyper Fang. We're actually extremely <laughs> over leveled right now. We're eight, uh, we're 28 to their uh, 15, so you know, it's whatever. But we have to be because there are Pokemon that are way stronger than me at a lower level. Come on, I don't even know why we even go in grass, we can't catch a new Pokemon. It's like only reason I go in the grass is to train. Pursue, hopefully. I I I know this move doesn't kill, but you know whatever. You know, since since I got you guys, I got uh, about two two minutes left, which is enough to tell a story. So I tell a story in like every single let's play, which makes me happy. So when I was younger. I was playing on a swing set. This is a seven foot tall swing set, and I'm about five, six years old. And we're playing this game where if you um, if you get hit by a ball, we're playing on the swing set. If you get hit by the ball, then you lose. Well, I was trying not to lose, um, so I was trying to move. And well, this girl Amber, which was my next door neighbor, uh, she was about to get hit by the ball, so she pushed me and actually fell off the um, the jungle gym or the swing set, whatever you call it. And I fell on my side, but not only did I break my right arm, but I also uh, twisted my intestines, but we didn't know that at the time. So, so I went uh, three months without using the restroom once. Like, I peed, but I never used, I never went number two. And uh, I become really, really bloated and fatigued, and I never really did anything. All I did was, um, you know, just sit around and do nothing, which isn't my personality. So my parents started freaking out, and I actually went to counseling for it, and I go, look, I'm like, nothing's wrong with me, I just don't feel like doing anything. I, I don't feel good. And the psychiatrist goes, you need to go take this kid to the doctor, even though the doctor said there was nothing wrong with me, it was all psychological. Well, that wasn't the case, I was just filled with so many different pounds of dookie, if you, if you let me say that. So I finally, I got cleaned out, and uh, so... I've been living with twist intestines for the past, let's see, 11 to 12 years. So um, I'm always in pain, which is something that really sucks. Uh, even though I'm always really, really happy and excited, as you can tell like, by my voice and commentary, I'm like, no, this is what I do. Um, that's just my personality. So because I'm in pain all the time, um, th one of the ways to- <gasps> Youngster Dan, awesome. Uh, sorry, but uh, one of the ways to help loosen the pain is actually drink milk. So when I drink milk, my intestines actually loosen, so I get like a rush of energy, and I get like a false high, which is hilarious. I get so crazy, and it's just amazing. 
I feel like that is one of the greatest things ever happened to me. Like, even though, you know, I'm kind of fudged up in the inside, I'm awesome to hang out with after I have a few glasses of milk in me. And the funny thing is, is like, you know how when you're drunk, there's like different types of drunk. Like, even though I've never been drunk before. Literally, I've never been drunk before. I've never had alcohol. But how different people act differently when they're drunk. Uh, they're like the nice guy drunk, the, the people who tell all the truth drunk, they're the, like the aggressive drunk. But when I drink different types of milk, I get different types of ways. So when I drink whole milk, I get really, really, really sleepy. When I drink skim milk, I get really, really hyper. When I drink chocolate milk, I get really, really aggressive. When I drink strawberry milk, I just tell everyone that I love them, and it's just really weird. So we got that guts boost right now, though, so we're going to quick attack. So, yeah, that's one of the cool things about me. Uh, I have twisted intestines, and I get drunk off of milk. So that is that is a really cool thing that definitely gets me invited to some parties. Oh wow, we've actually gone over 16 minutes. Oh well, I like telling stories. So we're about to go to Bill's anyway, so I guess we might as well go. This might be a 20 episode. Oh, freaking crap. Pursuit. This is like our only move to get past these rock types. I gotta heal. I gotta heal up right now. Um... So I'll tell you about a party where this actually came into a factor and it actually helped me uh, get with this girl. And if I get with this girl, I mean get her number. Um, so I'm at my friend's Noah, who's a graduation party. Um, and he, he invited me and he goes, look, they're kids that you're not usually used to hanging out with, but they're good kids. They're all good kids. Um, I just haven't talked to those kids in a while. And uh, I go, yeah, man, I'll go to your party. And they're the kind of kids that do nothing but backflips, rides, ski-doos, and are like totally hipsters. Which, I love them. They're awesome. I love those kids so much. So one of the things they're doing is they're doing backflips. And uh, Noah's back uh, backyard is on a hill. So they go, hey, Brayden, why don't you do a backflip? Totally joking. And I go, yeah, I'll totally do it. So I go there, and I try to do a backflip, and I land back first on the ground and it hurts like crazy but I'm not I'm like shrugging it off I'm like oh man and I go you know what if only I had some milk because they know the story with me so they scream inside because Noah's inside and they go Noah get right in some milk and Noah goes oh heck yeah so he grabs the milk and he brings out a glass to me so I drink it and I, I just sit there for a bit, and then I just get like this rush of energy. I'm like, yeah, I can shoot three throws. I like chicken. I don't know. However, however that vine goes, um, and I did a, I did two backflips. It was awesome. Right in front of all these girls, and they were talking to me, and I was still like in that false high, right? So one of the kids told me to calm down, and I go, dude, I am so drunk right now, I don't even care what happens. And I forgot there were little kids around, and when they asked me what drunk was, and I go, what happens when you drink too much milk? And they go, I don't want to be like that when I grow up, I'm going to stop drinking milk, and I felt really bad, but because milk is amazing. But yeah, that was one story where uh, getting drunk off milk was actually very beneficial to me. She was a really nice girl. Um, we didn't talk at all other than that party, but we became friends after that. You're not evolving for the last time, Joint. Okay, but I'm going to definitely end the episode here. Thank you so much for hearing all my cookie stories and this false plot line that apparently is in this game that we're not focusing on. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and Dan the Pokemon out.